ramble them in here. So I saw a post. Now let's, let's back up a little bit. First off, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you uh, comment, share, and like. But I saw this post in regard to all the abortion mandates, the abortion law that was passed in Texas. And what it said, in essence, was that all young men should have a vasectomy and then when they feel like then when they're financially stable and mature enough and ready for children then they can have a reversal it was it was really just it, it wasn't being serious but at the same time trying to show that what rights it would take away if you know if you did that with men here's the problem with that so it, it's really kind of a, a bad idea in regard I know it's not a serious thing but it's kind of a bad idea in regard to the fact that if you do that um, now women are gonna say well you know you don't really have you're not letting us choose when to have kids right so now we're now, now we're not allowed to have kids when we want to because our men can't uh, you know have babies so it's just it's just one of those things like people are gonna have arguments I know a lot of people have said you've taken away things you know what what happens when a woman is gang raped and she has to have the baby she can't have look here's the thing that is like a one-off that's so far and in between I mean it's like are all the women being gang raped no women are mad because they can't control this one aspect it's not like you're you're doing anything to your body it's preventing you from doing something to your body here's what i'll tell you as a parent i've had i've been by the bedside while my wife was having children so when you first find out you're pregnant you go to the doctor's office and of course they sit there and they do an ultrasound you can hear the heartbeat and so that's the whole thing with this texas law is to prevent Abortion is happening once the heartbeat is found, which is about six weeks and six to eight weeks somewhere in there, right? So here's the thing When you go in as a parent And you hear that heartbeat you think oh, it's not alive really yet. So that's awesome That sound just people people don't even get excited about it, right? They just sit there like oh, it's a heartbeat great No, people are like oh my gosh, it's a heartbeat. Some people cry. Some people are just so full of emotion because they know that is their baby and it's alive so now you're going to turn around and go from having a live baby, which they say, oh, it's not really live. It's just a fetus. Really. So you get excited about just nothing. No, you get excited because it is a baby in the womb. But yes, it's still a baby. It's still a living thing. So now people are having a hard time with this because they don't want women to feel like they've lost their rights the right to kill another individual. So what about the baby's rights? Is, is there nothing there for the baby? Like, so they can't speak for themselves. So once it has a heartbeat, I consider that a baby. I don't know what you consider it. It is a living thing, so you're killing the living thing. Um, it, it's just a hard, touchy subject. And I know a lot of the Democrats will go through and say, my body, my choice. But then when we say that about a mask, or a vaccine they're like oh, I can't believe you're saying that it's the same dang thing I'm just saying let's let's just keep it real out here so I just wanted to touch base with y'all see what your thoughts are on this and then there's no judgment some people have views that they think abortions okay I for one do not but I don't really look at it as a woman is losing all her rights it's like once they lose this right what else they have it's a right to kill people because they are people. Regardless of what you believe, those babies, once they have a heartbeat, they are people. And if you, and, and I, I'm a Christian, so I believe in um, life at conception. So e either way, you're going to have somebody against it and for it. I saw a lot of people, t you know, um, what's her name, Roseanne Arquette. It's talking about Rosanna Arquette. She's talking about she can't take a job here uh, acting because um, she doesn't agree with the way Texas is. Fine, stay out. 
Bette Midler said that, what did she say? She said something about, anyway, it all comes about boycotting Texas and people say, yeah, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to be, I won't set a foot into Texas. This could be the best thing for Texas because here's the thing. If you don't want to come to Texas, that's fan-freaking-tastic. I've been talking about it forever. Don't California my Texas. And, I, and I'm telling you, there's so many liberals in California. I'm sure a bunch of them are on this bandwagon, this whole abortion bandwagon. So, if you don't want to come to Texas, don't. I'm perfectly fine with that. We're full up here. We're happy with who we have. If you don't want to be in Texas, and you, they're, not, they're not saying you can't even have an abortion. You just can't have it here in Texas after six weeks. So, that's my thought on it. Let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe, share, comment, and like. Thanks, guys. Rambling Man out.